Hello, everybody. Happy Friday. It is I, your co-songwriter, your co-producer, and your friend, Joe CB. Hello, everybody. Why am I talking in a British accent? I don't know. I'm just being silly. Anyway, guys, um, happy Friday. And today is our melody writing class. And um, what we're going to uh, talk about today is, you know, how do we write a melody? And what are we writing a melody based on? Well, if you guys watched class yesterday, um, we had written um, from our creative writing class, we had a theme called Picture This. And what we did was we wrote... Uh, a set of words that could be used as a chorus eventually um, based on a picture of a pair of beautiful blue eyes of a woman and um, wrote words based on that. And uh, I'll, let's review the words that I came up with my words. Now, I want you guys to write your own words if you want to. Um, that's the assignment. I would love to hear what you came up with based on that picture from yesterday. But the words that we, or the words that I came up with for this creative writing exercise for picture this was, um, can't erase my mistakes and the lies. And I'm sorry I hurt you inside. You can never say we never tried. As the tears fall from your sky blue eyes. So that's the, uh, that was the words that I came up with. Now, how do we start turning that into a melody? Well, you know, my, you know, like I told you before in other class, in, in other uh, videos, um, I always hear like a little tiny little radio playing in my head, but it's not always super clear. It's kind of like a blurry photograph and I have to pull it down from up here, out here to where everybody can hear it. It's not always a perfect picture, but, um, I finally did hear a melody and remember yesterday when I was saying the cadence is very ballad-esque so it's like slow and it's like a ballad it's like a heartfelt you know um ballad song which is uh you know like a love song um and um so but I did hear a melody in my head based on that little radio that plays in my head with my vivid imagination and um so in, in my head, it sounded like it was like sort of in the key of G, right? So, which is, that's G right there. So when I was listening to the melody, I'm trying to pull it down. It went, I'll sing it. It goes, um, um, yeah. Can you erase my mistakes and the lines? And I'm sorry I hurt you inside. You can never say we never tried. As the tears fall from your sky blue eyes. So that's what I heard playing in the little radio in my head. Um, and then I said, okay, well, it's G, you know, I, cause that's like, right. What I did was I sang it a cappella and then I came to the keyboard and then went, okay, so it's G. Now, what does that come from? It really stems from a G scale, right? G major. So you're. course we're not just singing a scale up and down we're picking and choosing those notes that we're going to use um so what I did was but relatively I'm talking about theory wise theoretically 
the, 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 the notes I'm getting are all existing in that scale I just played, you know. So I went. So that's like the first part of the, you know, um, can raise the mistakes and the lies. Right? So I tried to find the chords based on that. Um, can raise the mistakes and the lies. Well, that's nice, right? So I went from um, G. I thought that made the melody sound pretty too. The melody should stand on its own without music, but the chords underneath make it super more, even more effective, right? So we're going, um, can raise the mistakes and the lies. That's nice, right? Stray from that, you know. Right? Sorry. So that's it, right? That all those notes are in the G major scale. Um, so uh, all together again, it's um, can you raise the mistake? my melody um i did a little arrangement of the whole thing um i'll sing it with the arrangement with the beat and everything so here is my rendition of this here it is can erase the mistakes and the guys come up with for that um i can't wait to see uh what you guys come up with and uh or try that melody yourself i want to hear you guys um send me a version of you singing that and then i want to see what you wrote for the creative writing part of picture this so that's uh, two assignments that i would love to see you guys send me anyway um Thank you for listening. Thank you for participating. 
I love you guys and I miss you terribly. And um, we're going to get through this. We are. We're going to be better than we ever were. And um, I just love you guys and have all the faith in the world in you guys that you're going to deliver. Take all this emotion that we're feeling right now and put that passion into writing this chorus and sending me your version of that melody. I can't wait to hear it. Like I said, guys, I love you. Take care of each other. Take care of yourselves. If you go out, wear a mask, wear gloves, be safe, and I will see you soon.